I'm gonna try to plant us a few sweet taters today. A few sweet potato slips. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna sneak these uh, sweet potatoes right here but in this onion row where we remove some onions and uh, we're gonna make a little <clears throat> little hill here. Everywhere we can out through here. I ain't got many draws, but uh, we've got six or eight. And I'm gonna put them in some onion, something cat or something, scratch them out again. But anyway, we're gonna plant them right here. Everywhere there's a space that we can get one. We're gonna put us one in. Out through here. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. I think get one right here. These little onions, actually what they need, they're not going to amount to nothing. It's got a little too hot for them, I believe. They like cool weather. As much as they like warm weather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might be able to put one at the very end. Maybe right, I don't know. Not that, I don't believe I want to put one there. Start this old sweating. That uh, might show up right there. Take my glasses off. This is what I started in the greenhouse. And uh, a few potato slips that I got off the potatoes in the greenhouse. Let's uh, lay this glass down and drop them out through here and we'll stick them in the ground. Not complicated, that's for sure. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, 
and I've got three right here. These right here, I'll show them to you. This is one I trimmed off of one of the things it was that was uh, too long, so I trimmed it off. It has no roots on it. This has got one little root, and that one's got one little root. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plant all three of these in that last hill out there and see if they, which one survives. I hope they all do. <clears throat> but I'm going to plant, plant them all three in this hill and uh, this one's no roots I'm going to bury it pretty deep down in there just like that <clears throat> the other one I'll put right there and this little one I'll put it right there and hopefully those will make it until the deer comes there. Hopefully not. Just bury them right down there to the, where you cut that last leaf off. And uh, they should do well. It's not rocket science. These sweet potatoes, they're pretty resilient. Pretty tough. Now here's one with no roots on it. So that will be the one, the third one out. I overlooked that one, but anyway, we'll see how it does. It may root itself and it may die. We're going to give it a try. Okay. We'll see if it'll root itself in the ground. There it is. Now before I get done, no, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna water them. So I'm gonna turn this camera off, go fill the water up. There's some things that a person shouldn't procrastinate on. That's like I was about to walk off here and water these later. You don't want to water them later. You want to water them now. And uh, that will prevent a lot of failure. And, uh, and especially, it will slow transplant shock down. Because when you shock your plants, you're just losing yourself about a week's worth of growth. That's my opinion anyway. I'm not going to say opinion, I'm going to say experience. takes a half a second to do this.
you know, that one down there, the third one back this way that I said didn't have no roots. I'm going to take this plant up here that's got roots. That'll leave one here without roots, and that one will have roots. Just in case this one down here don't make it, this one might. And, uh... It might be the wise thing to do. At least it's got a chance now to uh, to create a sweet potato hill, a improved change an improved change just put it that way see when I watered that that washed the mulch and the dirt off the root there okay let's go wipe a little sweat off the brow whoo Goodness. I'll go in here and show you where I got those slips at. Okay, right there you can see where I pulled them. And uh, left that little one there. And these right here, these other potatoes, is, uh, see I don't see any on that one. This one, has got some coming right there. And uh, this one has got some coming. Yeah, they're coming on. This one, I don't uh, see anything yet, but that don't mean it won't come on. This one, I don't see anything yet. I'm going to cover them a little more there. Just a little. And that way, might knock some of this intense sun off of them. It's hard for me to uh, put potatoes in and leave them out of the ground. But I'm going to do that. Okay. Hopefully that worked. Let's see. Got my arugula there growing. It's coming. 